Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. This is a liturgy for the fifth Friday after Pentecost. Let's pray. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be His kingdom now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship Christ among us, our King and our God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning with the thirteenth chapter, the third verse. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they had not much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell upon thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In God's presence, Think through the day ahead, the work you will do, the people you will encounter, the dangers or uncertainties you face, the possibilities for joy and acts of kindness, any particular resolutions you need to renew. Consider what might draw you from the love of God and neighbor, the opportunities you will have to know and serve God and to grow in virtue. Remember those closest to you, and all for whom you have agreed to pray. Ask God's blessings, guidance, and strength in all that lies before you. Gather up these thoughts and reflections in the words that our Savior taught us to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, and your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion for the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, be gracious to us and bless us and shine your countenance upon us and have mercy on us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Father is my hope, the Son my refuge, the Holy Spirit my protection. All Holy Trinity, glory to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for another prayer. As always, I will encourage you to visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com, where you can access our liturgy and more resources. And if you'd like to support this podcast and all of its endeavors to grow and to advance the gospel through the good news of Jesus Christ and through liturgies that bring us into prayer, you can do so by visiting patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We'll see you next time.